What is up guys, Fernando Wani and welcome to my live reaction to Shokeki no Soma chapter 310, the fierce battle of flavor. So, two weeks ago we had um, the judges taste Cyber Asashi's dish to the point where even Mana, Erina's mum, basically said bring that dish to me and she tried it as well and caused the stripping to go absolutely crazy right so looks like her uh stripping whatever you want to call it is a lot more powerful than Aizumi's Aizumi we saw it was only just around him San Daimon is just himself but Mana seemed to be very very powerful the question is going to be what has Soma made? Will it compare to Cyber Asashi's dish? And how's it all going to play out? Let's get straight into this. I've got a film we're going to find out today, guys. As always, if you want to follow along, you know what you need to do. Bring it up on your tablet, your PC. Follow along. Let's go. I'm reading it on MangaRock.com. Let's go. I don't really know what's going on, but it seems audience has finally settled down. At any rate, let's continue the tasting. Well, honestly, with this aftertaste lingering, I want to go home for the day. What? Then I tell you to probably judge this competition. But Saibo Ashi's dish, it was that delicious. Hmm. Ashi Ashi is overwhelming what is overwhelming what Soma going to do. Okay, he's pretty much overwhelmed the judges with his taste. Now then, Yukihira, it's your turn. Show me what you got. <laughs> he's like, hey man, I got this. The dish you made combining all five great cuisines into one. What kind of dish is it? I heard you loud and clear. And here is my answer. It's fried rice. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> so, you know, like, huh? <laughs> this is just typical, like, and it was like, wait, what? And then we got, we got, um, Saibo Joichiro, and he's like, he's got a bit of a smile on his face, he's like, hee <laughs> hee. The perfect diner dish. Huh? Everyone's freaking out, like, what? The Fierce Battle of Flavor, Chapter 310. Let's go. Wait, what? Are you saying this is what he combined the five dishes he made into? Really? Fried rice? Can't possibly! You just fried together all the dishes? This isn't the kind of thing the first seat of the Elite 10 should be doing. And we got Isumi, Takumi, and Megumi, they're like, hmm. And everyone else there, we got uh, Nikumi, we got Yuki, we got basically everyone, all the people from Polar Star. So, jeez. So Saba is just like, this is setting up similar to what went down with um, Soma and uh, Alice. It's like, geez, what should I even say? Like, Asa, she's like, I got this, like, it's done. Even though you so boldly served your dish, don't you remember how the judges reacted from just the first whiff of mine? Yet, they haven't even noticed your dish at all. My dish was superior in every aspect. It's laughable. In the end, it's just fried rice. Huh? What? Now, this fried rice is strange. So, us, she's no... Just take a bite, eat up! I don't wanna! Stop being so selfish now, say ah! <laughs> so, so it's like they got to literally force them to taste it. So she's eating, it's like... Mm, 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 huh? So she's like, bang! And she's just plowing into it. What? What in the world? Wasn't she just complaining about not wanting to eat it at all? But the moment she took a bite, she inhaled it right up. And I was just like, huh? So it's like... <laughs> Smooth army of his pork hits, with, hits the tongue with a thud and spreads out. That's... This is Dong Poro from Chinese cuisine. In, enriched with a blend of seasonings, the flavor permeates deeply throughout and are braised in. And then it's... Finally sliced into squares and used as filling for the fried rice. How long did he have to make 
Don Perro. No matter how I think of it, there couldn't be enough time. <laughs> when I breeze the pork, so he's going to explain. I use carbonated water. When you include this, the sulfur dioxide it, in it helps to break down the fibers of the meat. It cuts the time to tenderize the meat in half or less. <gasps> Another ingredient in here is the meat of the fish in aquapazza. It's a translation of Italian poached fish. An Italian poached fish dish. Green one. It's green bean. It's puriol from Indian cuisine. A dish of chopped green beans and minced coconut stirred together, stir fried together with chilies and mustard seeds. And furthermore, using the French mirepoix, the, the smooth taste of the vegetable is enhanced. Great variety of flavors from all the ingredients are bursting together within my mouth. So they're like, they're going nuts. So it looks like he's done the same thing. And more than anything else, the core of the deliciousness of this dish is the rice within it. Hmm, of course, since it is fried rice after all. So rice would have to be at the center of it. I see, I see, this dish is fried rice, but not fried rice, it seems. After gently toasting the rice in butter, it is a dish boiled in broth. In other words, it's close to, to the pilaf that originates in Turkish cuisine. Tch. Origin of the word pilaf is actually pilaf in Turkish. Okay. I can't believe he built his dish around that. That's right. Man, I studied my ass off once I got into Turkey. I see. Final touch is it isn't fried in oil. With just this and the variety of feelings making up the volume of the dish, it's quite refreshing. I can just keep gobbling it up. And even so, each and every grain of the rice stands on its own. I have thought I'd be a it'd be a gooey mess after being cooked in broth. As expected, you have keen eyes. That's because I cooked the rice. Using a donut a donate. Translation a type of earthenware pot, okay? Don't we have a low heat conductivity so to that extent it also has a high heat retention. So then all the rice is heated evenly and even as it steams the heat is maintained and the excess water flies out. I see. Putting that technique into making pila. Okay. Using pilaf from Turkish cuisine as his base, Chinese super delicious dong, dongpo ro, it is white fish and plenty of little neck clam aquapazza, India spicy portrayal with red chilies, and then French and irregular ulof mayonnaise supported by mirepoix. Using those powers, he gathered them into one super special fried rice. Our means, it egg, Fried right, rice off means egg in French. Okay, but wait, didn't you say it earlier? You can't just haphazardly throw together a bunch of different ingredients. Different ingredients. How could that possibly stand in a place like blue? It doesn't make any sense. No. Imagine if he made this using the soup of the aquapata instead of the pila. Its function is to bring together all of the ingredients which at a glance seem haphazard. And yet, the spiciness of the portrayal doesn't break the essence of the whole dish. The gentleness of the butter, soy sauce, neutralizes and changes it into a pleasant steaminess that excites the tongue. The entire aim is a dangerous tightrope walk, but the result is a furious clash. He brought forth a miraculous deliciousness. When an absurdly high level match, for several ushers, Asashi's dish was a delicate weaving of the essence of the five great cuisine. He was like a main character who had made all the various chefs his allies in his quest. The spitting image of an adventurous hero. On the other side, you could hear Summer's five great cuisine dish was certainly like all the flavors were thrown into the flames of war, and from the ashes an even greater flavor was born, disturbing his own pace for the sake of his own ambitions. I like it. I like how they, how they put that. Just like a demon king. I like it. Hey, hey, any other 
Hmm? So Hanayama's not even there. And I like that little picture. I got an evil Soma and a good ass of shit, even though it's the other way around. What is it, Jun? Are you really okay? Even though you were nominated, you didn't go to blue. This again. So Hanayama was nominated as well. This again, even though my Alphation is a superpower, or whatever they're calling it, I plan to use it this summer vacation strictly for data collection. Even Mimisaka Subaru declined it. There's lots of different kinds of people. Yeah, I guess you're right. Though, it seems he's evolved his predict trace even further. It seems like such a waste for him to have declined too. Though, he probably thought the same thing as I did. Huh? A number of months ago. Hey, you free Monday? So sorry, I have something to do that day already. Uh, what about Tuesday then? Um, that day? I'm just gonna just full of shukugekis. Ah, uh, damn. The hell I am? It's cheap to get... It's cheap to get a head start like that. You don't want to talk. Who's the one who... Here... Who ends up eating all of our senpai's free time? You even have them lined up on a Saturday. <laughs> I mean, the third year's graduation are coming up real soon. <laughs> so, I like that. <laughs> it's awesome. We got... Until then, I can't even let one day slip by. It'd be such a waste. Whatever. You challenge someone higher than you. Whatever you... Whenever you challenge someone higher than you, no matter who, you usually get all worked up or you wince. This guy doesn't care about losing his pride. No. In the first place, he's got nothing to lose at all. He's always challenging... Ch he's always challenges with his whole body on the line. All while cheerfully smiling. Unbearable. The Totsuki Tea House Currently Academy 90th Generation Graduation Term. Well then, Yukihira. I'm glad I met you. So we've seen all the third years. We've got uh, Tsukasa, Rindo. Uh, we've got all of them. So like basically the top five seats there are all graduating. And then we've got the next uh, top six here. Do your best, you can hear. I'm sorry, because I lost my grader. I made so I should need to slip stronger. But since it's Yuki Hira. He's like, yeah, but since it's Yuki Hira, it's all good. Well, this time, I'll leave the squabbling for the championship to him. He's our generations. General, after all. So he's got Ooh, so it looks like Honey Armor's even back down to Soma, alright? I like that. Look, Master Sam, would you like to try my dish too? Hmm. Why do I need to try your dish? Come on now, don't be like that. <laughs> I like it, like, come on. Don't you think that this dish is related to the dish never before seen on earth that you're seeking? Besides, this fried rice menu was cooked with the memories I have of my mum. It's here. The flavour of memories. Shugeki no Soma. Chapter 310. End. Alright. So he's pretty much throwing... He's pretty much challenging mana. I like that. But anyway. That's my live reaction guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have. Smash that thumbs up. If you enjoyed the chapter. Smash that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Of course. Let me know in the comment section below. Do you think mana will try it? I reckon she will. It's setting up that she will try it. But, do you reckon she'll try? Do you reckon she'll have the same reaction that she had to Cyber after she's dish? You're going to have to wait till next week, guys. But anyway, guys, that is all for me. Let me know in that comment section below what you guys thought. Did you like it? Didn't like it? All that kind of jazz. And as always, guys, I'm Freno One. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you guys next time with another live reaction. Peace.